Hello everyone and welcome to part 34 of this chess puzzle run uh, on chess.com where you can follow along as I solve these puzzles and help improve your tactics. All right, so uh, we have white. Looks like the queen just moved from c7 uh, to c6, lining up on our king here. But what do we have? Okay. Uh, as always, pause the video if you need more time to think. Uh, but I believe I found the answer here. Okay. Uh, it looks like d5. And that is not the answer that they wanted. All right. Well, I thought that would just attack the queen and lead to a discovered mate possibility. Ah, but that would not work. Okay. I jumped the gun on that one <laughs> because the queen could just retreat back and guard this. So first we have to capture with the rook and then attack the queen uh, with a check. All right. So, yes, I definitely jumped the gun on that one. So let's retry that. So it looks like you have to attack first. Now the queen can uh, check as we move this pawn and then take the queen. All right. Uh, I should have sat on my hands and looked for a better move for a second instead of just jumping all over that. All right. Let's go to the next puzzle. Hopefully you found that. Uh, did better than I did. All right, what happened here? The white rook has just retreated back to c4 where it's protected by this bishop. So what do we do here? Okay. Well. Hmm. If this rook can be moved, we could possibly attack this. All right, do we just capture this pawn here? Capture the pawn, or do we just capture the rook? Then, all right, so, Perhaps we just capture, the bishop would capture, then we attack that bishop, and, well, it could just protect itself with this, then we could use the pawn to attack it. All right. Well, if you need more time, pause the video, uh, but it looks like we could capture the rook. If the bishop captures, then we attack, the bishop. If the bishop protects itself with the pawn, we attack with our pawn. Uh, and if it moves, then we could capture this bishop here and you know, possibly skewer the king and take this. All right, let's try that. All right, so we just capture the bishop with the pawn there. All right, hopefully you found that one. And let's move on to the next one here. Okay, the king has just moved up here, all right, to break this pin by the bishop on the knight. And you know, maybe also to attack this pawn. Let's see. Oh, what do we want to do here? All right, we could just capture this knight. You know, maybe best is to capture with this pawn to prepare uh, to just move up here and promote. So that, uh, you know, maybe I better hold my thoughts back a little bit if you were trying to think. So just remember to pause the video if you want more time. Um, but let's see. Do we just go ahead and fork here? 
with check, but then he could capture the pawn, then we capture this. Uh, now, if we just capture here, threaten to move up here and promote, if we have a check, he could start chasing our king around. Check. We would have to... Hmm. Probably retreat. All right, I'm going to go for the pawn promotion. All right, and that is what they wanted to see. And now we can just check right here and for or excuse me, check and fork. So that looks like the best move now. We'll just fork and then capture and then we can still promote up here. All right. Well, I hope you found that one. Uh, let's move on to the next one here. Okay, the king was in check, moved down, attacking our knight, but the knight is protected by our queen. So what does black have in this position? How can we cause problems for white's king? All right, so we have two knights and a queen that can work together. Um, this knight and bishop are defending quite well. Um, well, let's see. Hmm. And you know, there could be some threats here of a check to our own king by the queen, and the queen could jump up here and help defend. So, we probably need moves that immediately attack. Let's see. Well, I mean, I guess we could move our knight way up here and attack the king. But then the king would have to retreat back. At that point, we could attack again. He would probably go up towards the knight up here. Then you know, maybe we could attack again, but then he could just capture here. So maybe better would be moving our queen up with check. Oof. But then it looks like he could jump down into this h2 square. All right. Well, let's see. I'm thinking knight to h1 with check. The king cannot move forward. Uh, would have to go on to the back rank. And... If he headed here or here, we could just check him. If he goes up here, if we checked him, he could block with his own bishop. All right. Well, okay, that's what they wanted. Now, do we check? With the queen, he could jump down into here, though. So, hmm. Or do we use our other knight? Check. The pawn is pinned. All right, and now we can move over here and we'll go after the mate. All right, well, let's see. I will try one more problem uh, to keep this video from getting too long and hopefully we can end on a good note. 
All right, a pawn has pushed forward on c5. And what do we have? Uh, total of 12. Materials about even, but this pawn is threatening to push forward. Okay. Hmm. Well. What can we do here? What can we do? Hmm. Well. Looks like we can move our rook over here threaten a mate up here, but the queen could move over and check us. Huh. All right. So if we move here to h6, threaten a mate up here, the queen would have time to check and then swing over here to cover that cover that but then that would allow us to fork well no never mind that wouldn't be up there okay <laughs> all right let's uh, go over this again so rook to h6 threatening a mate up here the queen could check us And then once we moved, the queen could swing over to here, covering that, but we could just jump up there anyway, and then uh, skewer the king and queen. All right. So now, uh, where is best to move this king, though? I guess it doesn't matter. Um, we could just move there. We could move down here. Uh, all right. I mean, we could block with the pawn. No, we have to move here because of this maneuver. If we stayed on the H file, we would have been checked. All right. Well, I hope you found uh, the answer to these problems and you're able to uh, do better than I did, especially on that first one where I kind of jumped the gun on it. So always remember to uh, take a second look at things before you make an immediate move and study your tactics to improve your chess. All right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already and feel free to leave comments or suggestions everyone and have a great day. Thank you